Bloody ducks. And I'm just learning about broody geese. And you can tell when they are broody because of that little noise that's happening. There, you can see. Let me just show you. Miss Billy Jean there. And Miss Elwyn there, coming down now. noise you can hear is saying look I've got babies I've got, I've got a nest they fluff themselves up they don't spend much time in any water and they really eat so I give them little treats in their brooding things and um, yes but that is I'm broody stay away don't come near me my hormones are mean and nasty and I'll fight even the biggest dog or the biggest fox or the biggest whatever that is I'm having babies just leave me alone just like women I suppose they get crotchety when they're expecting um, it's such a beautiful time for all creatures when they are uh, expecting whether it's eggs or whether you're carrying a baby yourselves I think nothing is more beautiful than a pregnant woman. Uh, it's it's amazing, um, and it's it is beautiful. And I just I had five babies, and I I know perhaps women they don't feel uh, beautiful when they're pregnant, but from an older person's point of view, I would say that women when they're pregnant are the most beautiful of their entire life. They're blossoming, they're blooming in all ways. And the same goes for animals, you know, when they're expecting, when they're pregnant, when, you know, when they're brooding. They are all beautiful, all things are beautiful. But a pregnant woman or an expecting animal, is uh, an amazing thing and that they're, they're at the height of their beauty well that's my my view anyway it is an awesome awesome thing to behold yes I'm, I'm not saying I was beautiful when I was pregnant in fact I was like two ton test from Teddington and at one point I went up to 17 and a half stone but um, yes there's a lot of weight to carry and I was enormous Yes, but um, it is the most beautiful time. Anyway, I'll quack on. I'll show you what's happening in the polytunnel. And then we're going in. I need a cup of coffee. See this uh, little lines. Faint marks, faint lines there. And there. There you can see a duck egg. And there, the typical spider. There. See if I can get a better view of this one. Uh -huh. 
yes yeah, so you can see the the spiders it's not spiders it's it's uh And there, this one's easier to see. So on Miss Lucy's egg there, there you've got the embryo starting to develop by there. So this is quite early. So I'll put them back in and I'll cover them. So now let's do Miss, uh, Miss Alwyn's. So this is one of Miss Elwyn's eggs there and you can see there is the the veins are starting you see how I've marked it And there. And there. This is, this is a fresh out there. I don't believe this one is fertile. Can you see there's nothing developing there? I'll give it a little while longer because it's early days. And you see this is the one. This is the one with the uh, little uh, Peck. I think one of the chickens have pecked it and you can see you can see by there it's not quite a hole but that's something I'm, I must try and sort out but there you that, that is alive and this one is and that one it's a pretty light one you can see that and then, and you can see that there now I'm not sure about this one because let me put it the other way I'll give it a few more days but you can see that there's a line I don't know if you can see that it's like a ring that could be a blood ring if it could be I'm not sure um, but I I suspect I suspect it started to develop and then it died for whatever reason but I'll leave it in there for a couple of more days and I'll check on it later.